Today, we're gonna to go over the buyer inspection notice, seller's response. This document's also known as the Bincer among the real estate community. I'm Phoenix real estate agent, John Cunningham with EXP Realty. And today we're gonna to go over the Bincer and we're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about what it's intended to do, how to use it wrong and how to use it right. So with no further ado, let me present to you the Bincer. Now this is one that uh, I used for one of my clients. We filled it out and had a happy transaction, but here's how, here's how it usually goes. It's something like this. So you've got four happy parties. Usually you've got a happy buyer who finally found their house, a happy seller who found, finally found the person to buy their house. You've got a happy listing agent who finally has the house under contract and a happy buyer's agent who has found their buyer home. Everybody's happy, one big, warm, buzzy, happy family until this thing comes along in some cases. So this document is more responsible for the attrition rate in the real estate industry than anything else I know. It's more responsible for buyers and sellers temporarily losing their mind than anything else I know. But if it's used right, it's a powerful tool, and I'm gonna show you how, and how it's to be used and the best way to use it and some common mistakes. So number one, pop my glasses on here. Number one, this document is where the buyer conveys to the seller, it's the first step, the buyer's inspection process begins right after the contract is signed and agreed to by the buyer and seller. Clock starts ticking, typically 10 days unless the buyer and seller agree to a, an abbreviated or an extended period of time. So 10 days, you get to inspect the house every which way you want, physically, emotionally, mentally, everything that could impact your buying decision, including a physical home inspection from a certified home inspector, where a big report is generated. You can also do research regarding crime and neighborhood um, issues, schools, airports, freeways, anything that would impact your buying decision. And then if you don't like what you find as the buyer, you just can write that down here and saying, because of my findings, I've decided to cancel. <clears throat> so that can happen. Another thing that can happen is the buyer can write down the things that they would like the seller to repair. Now, if they're coached right by the real estate agent, then they're only gonna write down the big things. Electrical issues, if you've got a plumbing leak, a, a problem with the roof, the air conditioning or the heating system, the hot water heater, things like that are usually big ticket items and they're things that are usually a concern for a buyer. If a buyer writes down little things like the latch doesn't work perfectly or the, I don't like the way the closet door closes, or they don't like the color of the paint or weird things like that, and you put that on here, yeah, that's one way to really piss off the people on the other side and make them not want to give any concern to the larger items that really matter. So we usually coach our clients to be realistic and put themselves in the seller's shoes. So once those things are written down, the, it's passed over to the seller and the seller can decide, hmm, I think this is realistic or not. I agree to fix everything. I agree to fix some of these things or I'm, I am unwilling to fix any of them at all or I will give you the following response. So the seller can respond and then the buyer gets to decide whether or not they accept the seller's response or not. Now, this is a case where we did our home inspection, we went through the report, and we actually got estimates for the repairs that my buyer was concerned about and attached those to this and sent it over to the listing agent. The listing agent took a look at these things and talked to their seller about things, and we gave the seller two options. We said, hey, look, it. here's the things we want you to fix. Here's the supporting documentation from our contractors uh, giving us estimates and we want you to fix these things or we want you to give us a $2,500 credit towards the buyer's closing costs and loan fees. So the seller took this into account. They took a look at everything. 
They got some of their own estimates from contractors they knew and trusted. And they ended up thinking, you know what? This is a pretty fair uh, way to handle this. We'll take this. We'll go ahead and um, accept your request for the $2,500 instead of doing the repairs. Now, what's great about this is the buyer can hire who they want to make the repairs after they close, and the seller doesn't have to worry about the buyer coming back to their contractors saying, we don't like the way you did this, and we don't like the way you did that. This gave them a little bit of money, and all the problems went away. Now, once this document is completed, it can be passed along to the listing and buyer's agent and it is filed and um, and sealed away for no one other than the brokers to see hopefully this is not something you want to give to the buyer's lender lenders don't want to hear about things that were wrong with houses you got to remember they're thinking about giving you a loan on a house and they don't want to hear about the broken roof the broken tile the pool that leaks or any of the other possible issues that come up with the house. So what is done after we've agreed to something on the buyer's inspection notice, such as a contribution towards buyer closing costs, is we create a separate addendum saying the sellers agreed to give the buyer $2,500 towards closing costs. And this, ladies and gentlemen, goes over to the buyer's lender. So that's how the Bincer works in short. If you'd like more detail on that, I can go over that in great detail for you. If you have any other questions about other real estate related topics, other forms used uh, to make our contracts work, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to make a video about that for you. Thanks again for watching. I'm John Cunningham with eXp Realty. See ya.